Hi everyone. Welcome back to Logger Tales. It's such a beautiful day today that Logger and I decided we would be outside and enjoy the sunshine as long as we can. So we're going to read again from outside. Mr. Trobe, who's the librarian at the Foxburg Free Library, sent us a book to go with this week's Fall Fallon Fall reading theme of fall and he thought we would like to read it with you. The name of the book is Apples and Pumpkins and it's written by Anne Rockwell and it's got pictures by Lizzie Rockwell. Do you suppose they're brothers and, or they're sisters rather? Or maybe mommy and, and daughter? I don't know. Okay, when red and yellow leaves are on the trees, just like our flowers, we go to Comstock Farm to pick apples and pumpkins. Yum, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? Huh? What do you think, Mr. Moose Mouse? Logger never goes anywhere with Miss, without Mr. Moose Mouse. So Mr. Moose Mouse would have to be along with the apple picking. Now, Mr. Moose Mouse, you need to sit there. Mr. Comstock gives us a bushel basket to put our apples in. Yay! Geese and chickens and a big fat turkey walk with us on our way to the orchard where the apples grow. Goodness, that's a whole bunch of animals. I'll bet they don't help pick. What do you bet? My father picks apples. My mother does too. I climb in a little apple tree and pick the reddest apples of all. <gasps> when our basket is full of red and shiny apples. We go to the field where the pumpkins grow. I look and look until I find the best pumpkins of all. Do you think we could do that maybe? Yeah, we know a, we have a friend named Mr. Warren who lives up by Nickelville that has a pumpkin farm. Yes, he does. My father cuts it from the vine. I carry it to the back of the car. It's heavy. At home, we carve a jack-o'-lantern face on our big orange pumpkin. We put a candle inside and light it. Now our pumpkin looks scary and funny. You wouldn't be scared, would you? On Halloween night, we put our pumpkin on the porch step. My mother gives away lots of our red and shiny apples for trick or treat. Look, there's a pirate and a ghost and a queen and a devil. You would not be afraid, I know. While I go trick or treating up and down the street. And there's an alien and she's a witch. The end. Look at all that. It's time to pick apples and pumpkins. The end. That was a fun story, wasn't it? We sure hope that you boys and girls are reading along with Logger and I um, with reading to your buddies for the Foxburg Reading Challenge. Remember, if you're reading and you wanna take a video or a picture, you can send it into the Foxburg Free Library website and Mr. Trobe will post them on the website and share with everybody how exciting it is to read. We will be with you next time along with Mr. Moose Mouse and everybody hopes that here hopes that you are staying safe, enjoying being back to school and don't forget Wash your paws. Say goodbye, Logger. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.